Commencing back day. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another YouTube video, baby. And in today's video, you already know what's going down. We've done a step by step shoulders and biceps. We've done a step by step chest and triceps. We've done a step by step leg day. So what does that mean? What other large muscle group do we gotta get on? Do we gotta do a step by step for? And I'll show you. Step by step back day, baby. In today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing a step by step mic'd up back day. And I'm really, really excited to get it started because Back is also another um, muscle group that if you can really build up and get some quality size on, you look insanely large. The physique really, really stands out with a thick back because like in a t-shirt, right? Let me show you. So, you know, we just got a shirt. You know, so we got a nice shirt, right? Boom. Throw it on. Ugh. All right, from the front, we see the shoulders, but from the back, you see the width and the size of the back and so that's what we're focusing on for today's video how to build that width how to build that size and get that strength so back day is a matter of a few things or really one thing it's all pull action okay so in order to really build the back muscles we're gonna be focusing on pull actions pull exercises and in the back there's the lats the part that makes you look wider okay you have your upper and your lower back along with your traps. And for this back day specifically, we're gonna be targeting every single one of those muscle groups. So on to the important stuff. Just kidding, this whole thing's very important. Let's get the gym fit together, baby. All right, so we ain't wearing this short to the gym, all right, so shkaloopies in the doopies. All right, for the bottoms, we're gonna be going these black polo shorts, all right? These are cotton. The long white socks, shaboop, boom. Because it's back day, we're gonna be going with the tank top and this one specifically shows the back more. I mean, it is back day. So it shows the back more. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw this on. Deodorant is a check, by the way. Yo, yo, make sure your checklist for the gym is always deodorant up in the top three, all right? So, boom, we're gonna go with the gray, and like I said, the back shows a lot more, so whenever we got a pump, it's gonna look crazy town back there. That, and then for the pump cover, we're gonna be going the Gymshark uh, hoodie. I actually really, really like this hoodie, and it's, it's really good quality, and the amount of times I've washed this hoodie, it's lasted like, I don't wanna say perfect condition, but it lasts a lot longer than all the other hoodies. So this is the pump cover because we want to get a really, really good warm up for back day and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. But that is the gym fit. And for the kicks, I mean, I mean, uh, I'm wearing white and white, green and gray. For the kicks, uh, we're, we're between these two. So we've got the Adidas NMDs, which I mean, does go with the white socks, but then we got the blue kicks. We're gonna go with these to complete the gym fit. And if you know, you know, for the pre-workout, we've got the coffee. So this time, this is just like a, like 99% just coffee uh, because this workout is going to be intense. So this is gonna come in handy, baby. What's going on, sweet stuff? So this workout is not fasted, and what I mean by that is I did actually eat, which broke my fast, because this workout is happening later in the day, and so that might be a really, really good thing. It could really benefit the pump, because uh, there's extra food in the body before exercising versus when we were fasting, we're fasted, so no food has entered the body yet until after the workout, right? But for this workout specifically, we're not fasted, so we've already eaten. So it could help the pump tremendously, because there's extra carbs for the workout. On back days, like any other muscle group, there's a, obviously a hundred thousand cadillion ways you can go and build those, uh, go and build your back, right? Like, like I said, tons of exercises. Uh, but you guys know me; I love doing what works. So these five to six exercises for me have worked 
phenomenally, right? To For growing my lats, for growing my upper and lower back, and for growing my traps. There's exercises for traps alone. I personally don't do them all the time because in the exercises that we're gonna do, your traps are getting worked in them, and unless you want humongous traps, I mean, go for it. But a lot of the times, we're working our traps in the exercises that we're doing. So. These five to six exercises is gonna be all you really need to really build a nice, thick, phenomenal back, baby. Another really big way you can hit back day is push, pull legs. That's a kind of workout routine. So for me specifically, I love individual workouts. So shoulders and biceps, chest and tri, back, legs, upper body focus, right? That's called individual muscle group exercising, okay? You either have that or you can have a push-pull legs. So, I told you, on back days, it's all pull movements to grow that back and get it stronger. So people will do upper body focus on push and pull, so the push would be shoulders, chest, and tries, and then on the pull days, it would be back and biceps, and then legs would just be, obviously, ham squads, glutes, and calves. So push-pull legs does work, it's just the thing is, I feel like whenever you're doing push-pull legs, you're not giving a certain muscle group enough time to really, really grow, if that makes sense. Like, you're, like, cause you're just so focused on so many body parts in one workout, versus if you do individual, right? So one day, it's only shoulders and biceps. The next day, it's only chest and tri, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But that's where finding out what works for you uh, comes in handy, I'm sure that push-pull legs workout routine works absolutely amazing for some people. But for me, I genuinely love like, you know, doing everything individually. Uh, because you know, you know, we're body, we're bodybuilders, we're physique artists, right? We want to make the most out of it. For me, that's the best way to do it, individual workouts. For this workout and any workout really, I always want you to focus on quality over quantity, okay? And what that means is, let's say you got four sets of 10 reps, right? But it's like a terrible set of 10 reps. And my, what I mean by terrible is the form is just like, you're cutting it short, it's not done correctly, and there's definitely more to give, okay? So that right there is quantity, okay? So quality is, we're doing the form perfectly, we're getting the absolute most out of the exercise, and we're really pushing ourselves to a new limit. So quality over quantity, and that just kinda comes with learning more and more in the gym and in the exercises about you know what your weights you can do, what weights you're gonna do. And now granted, whenever you're going for a PR, bro, do it, go after it, get the job done. You need to get it done, right? However though, on our workout days, we want to always be pushing the limit, but with good form, quality reps, all right? So especially on back days, we really, really focus on the form because the better the form, the more we're getting out of these exercises, baby. So after you've gotten your stretching and all of that done, you're warmed up and ready to go, one of the exercises I like to do before actually getting started on back day are body weight pull-ups. Just to get the back nice and warmed up, just to get those back muscles ready to go. I suggest three sets of 10 or 30 reps, then getting into your back day. Whenever you're doing your pull-ups, you can either go hammer grip or neutral, it's completely up to you, but get in 30 to 50 reps to really, really get those back muscles warmed up. Let's go. I honestly go back and forth between hammer grip and neutral grip, so let's go. For these, we're gonna go neutral grip just like this. Boom, good quality pull-ups too. Perfect, perfect, just like that, Mike. Back is getting nice and warmed up for the workout. Perfect, baby. Now we're ready to crush back day. For exercise number one on back day, we're gonna be doing wide grip lat pull downs. For me, that's been an amazing workout to really get the back day started as well as pushing our lats to grow. Because lat pull downs, it focuses on your lats and really adding the thickness to the upper and lower back if you're doing it correctly, okay? So the way I want you to do it is we're gonna come right here and when I say wide grip, we're about this wide just like that, about that wide. And then we're gonna scoot up a little bit in the chair and arch our back, okay? And as we're coming down, boom, good squeeze right there. One second, let me fi let me fix his mic. There we go. All right. So boom, we're right here, okay? And when we're coming down, 
good squeeze with a little arch in the back, all right? That right there gets every part of the back. Boom, just like that, all right? On this, we wanna do four sets, eight to 15 reps. Remember, quality over quantity, good reps the entire time. All right, perfection. So let's go. I like to go pretty heavy. On the last set, I go my heaviest. Boom, right here. Mm, perfect repetition. And if you wanna add a bit of a squeeze in there for an even better contraction, do it. But just like that, my perfect reps. Perfect, perfect. Really push yourself here, guys. All because it's the first exercise, doesn't mean we go easy. We go really hard on this first exercise, perfect. <clears throat> on to exercise number two. We're gonna go V-bar. We're gonna go cable V-bar pull downs, okay? So, gonna go ahead and hook it up. And the arching is quite the same, just like uh, wide grip uh, lat pull downs. So we wanna come here, boom. When we're coming up, full extension in the arms. As we're coming down, really, really good squeeze. Right here is exactly where you wanna be on the peak of the exercise, okay? So boom, just like that. Really pushing our lats to a new level. This is another exercise that really works the entire back, but more specifically the lats. <clears throat> just like that. <clears throat> Money, money. Right there, we want to go for three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Bro, this back day ain't no joke. We're growing. On to exercise number three. By this point in the workout, you should be pushing the absolute limit, bro, and creating new limits. Because so far, it's been insane. I'm talking, guys. Quality over quantity. Push, push, push yourself. So on to exercise number three, we got single arm cable rows. This is specifically lat focused, all right? And I love this exercise because this is one of the exercises that really, really help my lats grow to the next level. So we're gonna grab the, we're gonna grab the single arm grip just like this. I want you guys starting in a neutral position and when we're coming all the way, squeeze into a hammer grip, okay? That really, really, that really, really gives the lat a great, great movement and a great squeeze boom just like that just like that and right here we're going three sets of 10 to 15 reps this one's high reps now you can either squeeze right at top of tension or we can bust them out just like that Ooh, very nice so again starting in neutral grip and as we're boom coming in the rep we want to go into hammer grip just like that squeeze it guys and e and if you'd like to lean your lat out a little bit to open it up more do it and then come back and squeeze nice mate nice just like that perfection that's my england accent by the way oh back is growing right now squeeze nice Ooh, let's go. One more, one more. Hup. Beautiful. Beautiful repetitions. Let's check this pump. That exercise specifically is so, so good for growing the lats. Like I said, three sets, 10 to 15 reps. So we're about halfway through the back day, but I really want to check the pump to make sure it's we're doing it right, baby. So <clears throat> put that right there. All right, all right, jacket is off. This is from the front. Boom, size is looking, alhamdulillah. Very good, alhamdulillah. So boom, from the front, this is how we're looking, halfway through the at workout. And from the back, AKA the important part, make sure we're in the frame. Boom. This is only three exercises in, baby. Only three exercises in. This is what the back pump's looking like. All right, let's, let's lift the tank a little bit. Not trying to, trying to stay rated PG, you know what I'm saying, mate? Jokes, jokes. But, all right, boom. This is, this is obviously the entire back. So to squeeze your back, you want to 
squeeze the glutes, and then we're going to come up like this, all right? So, boom. Mm. All right, so, boom. This is the back pump right now, baby. It's back in, eh? It's back in my, oof. Oh. And like I said, that is only three exercises in, but three exercises done to the max. On to exercise number four, we've got seated cable V-bar rows. Now, as you get more and more advanced in lifting, we can go into wide grip with the lat pull-down bar. We can go into straight bar rows, but for, for one that 100% works all the time, we're gonna go cable V-bar rows, okay? This one, since it's a row, I'd like you to go four sets, 10 to 15 reps. Again, high in reps, but quality over quantity. So if you're going heavy, aim for 10, but if you're going fair to light, aim for, aim for 15. But the goal is to aim and push yourself. So whether that be 10 or 15, push yourself. All right, so let's go. Four sets, 10 to 15 reps. The way I want you doing these reps on the cable rows, okay? Because there's a lot of ways you can do them, but I want to get the most out of it. So we're going to come here, boom, fully straighten out the legs. And when we're coming down, we're going to stretch out the back. But as we're coming up, boom, just like that. Our elbows are going past our back, okay? We're coming to a 90 degree angle with our legs and our elbows are going past our back for maximum tension, okay? So let's get started. So boom, we're gonna stretch out and then we're gonna come squeeze. Great tension right there, all right? Just like that. It should end up looking, it should end up looking just like this. Just like that, that's money, all right? It should end up looking just like that. So let's go heavy. Remember, quality over quantity. So don't go heavy and have terrible form, okay? So right now we're at about 200 pounds. Boom, focus guys. Ooh, up, just like that. Stretch, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, yep, that's a set, that's a set baby, right there, all right, now because it was heavy, we didn't really squeeze, but on the first few, you want to give it a squeeze and then get into busting it out, okay? But that right there was a fantastic set. On to exercise number five. And for this workout specifically, all the rest of the exercises will be done on this machine. That's because this machine has neutral grip, hammer grip, and single arm for uh, neutral grip rows, hammer grip rows, and single arm row, which are the next three exercises, okay? So if your gym doesn't have this machine, there should be other machines to do it, okay? Uh, but if it does, take full advantage of it. Most gyms have this machine, okay? So we're going to go three sets of 8 to 10 reps on each of these exercises, all right? So for neutral grip row, for hammer grip row, and for single arm row, three sets of 10 on all of these. Now, if you really want to push it, might go to four sets, all right? First, we're going to start out with neutral grip rows. Like I said earlier, rows are one of the things that I mean, you gotta pull to grow the back, all right? So that's what this workout's really focused on. So boom, we're here, guys, all right? Just like that, boom, good squeeze. We want a big chest when we're squeezing, all right? Big boy chest, boom, just like that. Four, five, six, seven, nice, nice. Eight, nine, 10, squeeze, squeeze. Right there. The neutral grip rows are nuts. It's what we're, It's one of the exercises that really gets you wide. I mean, all back exercises add size and width, but there's definitely some exercises that hit it a bit more. Now for exercise number six, AKA hammer grip rows, we're gonna come here just like that, boom. And again, row, good squeeze for the first few, and then the rest of them, we're gonna bust out. All right, let me show you what this back's looking like, y'all. This is what it should look like, boom. Coming up, squeeze. Perfection, Mike. Squeeze. Then we're gonna bust out the rest. Just like that. You should feel a great contraction in every exercise. And then when you let loose, you should just boom. On hammer grip rows, we're gonna go for three sets of 10 reps. If you wanna push it, four. So those two exercises alone are insane for the back workout. Now, the single arm row, okay? That is a bonus exercise if you'd like to do it. Um, for me personally, I like growing the lats. I want them to get wider. So I add it into my exercise, but it's completely optional if you want to hit it or not. You already know. 
If you're going for gold, let's do it. The way I want you doing your single arm rows, boom, we're gonna come right up top. We're gonna give it a good stretch, all right? So the lat is stretched out, and then when we're pulling it, squeeze, just like that, all right? Stretch, 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 up, squeeze. Perfect. Just like that, Mike. Here, let me show you a side view. Just so you have the, just so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Got the side view going on, all right? So here, good stretch, good stretch. Squeeze, just like that. Elbows going right past the back, all right? Just like that. Ooh, perfection, Mike. Perfection. Like I said though, that exercise is a bonus only if you really want to do it and I highly suggest you do it. So for traps, this is also a bonus exercise. The reason I say it's a bonus exercise is because in the exercises we do, we really, really do work traps. But if you wanna give it more of a push, this is how we're gonna do it, okay? So the goal is to get, these are our traps right here. As you can see, those right there are our traps. In order to work them, we want to get some weights and then we're gonna boom, bring them up to our ears, okay? So here to here. Boom, that's one, one rep, two reps, three reps, just like that, okay? And so you wanna do that to really, really grow the traps. Now, don't do this. That, no, 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 it's boom, squeeze, just like that. Just doing that alone, like from the back, you see it flexing very, very well, okay? So the way it looks like with, weight, with weights is this. Grab your weight just like this, okay? So ready? Boom, right at our ears, one. Two. On these, you want to aim three sets of 10 because, again, your traps are getting worked the entire back workout. But this is an exercise you can do to really get them going. So, boom, just like that, okay? So, boom, squeeze. You can almost, you're almost smiling because they're, geez, you know what I mean? They're at your ears. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect repetition right there. But that is how we're going to work out our traps. Now, to seal the deal on back day, I love doing pull-ups. Pull-ups, because for me, have, having body weight strength, what I mean by that, uh, being able to do like whatever, 50 pull-ups, 100 pull-ups in a row, that to me is fantastic because that means you control your weight. Like, you know, you have the ability to push it. So one thing I do is add more pull-ups at the end of the workout. And this is more so like I've pushed it so hard and now I want to put the cherry on top of the workout, okay? So boom, Opa, just like that. Any grip we want really. The goal is to push ourselves here. Nice. Mm. These should be the cherry on top of the workout. Hup. Let's go.
Bro, that workout was absolutely nuts, okay? So let's do a review because that was crazy, bro. It was amazing, alhamdulillah. So exercise number one, wide grip lat pull downs. Exercise number two, cable V-bar pull downs. Exercise number three, single arm cable rows. Exercise number four, V-bar cable rows. Exercise number five and six, we had neutral grip row machine and then hammer grip row machine. And then a bonus, which I always say, I love the bonuses, was single arm row machine, okay? And then another one for the traps, another bonus was dumbbell trap raises. Literally, we hit every single part of the back and we pushed it to a new standard, which is absolutely amazing. So that was the workout. Like, you've gotta give it a try, or at least try some of the exercises in it and do it with the right form, quality over quantity, and you'll start growing like crazy in the back area. I really, really do hope you guys did enjoy that step-by-step -step back day. I know I say this for a lot of my workouts, but it was actually amazing. Always pushing to a new standard. That's always the goal, to push ourselves to a new standard. We're in competition with ourselves. So if we know how hard we can go, let's go harder. You know what I mean? So that was the workout, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really do hope you guys did enjoy it. If you're new here, Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're old here, give me a thumbs up. I always, always appreciate it. Literally, I appreciate it so much. For real, for real. And quote of the video, ladies and gentlemen. You know we have to hit it with a quote. You know we have to hit it with a quote. And the quote is actually gonna come from my quote wall, and that is this one right here. That is the big quote of the video. Trust yourself, break some rules, don't be afraid to fail. Remember that, don't be afraid. We gotta try new things, ignore the naysayers, Work like heck, work, 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 and push it until you get it, and then give something back. Giving back is always extremely important, because, uh, you know, it's, it's a good thing to do, and especially if you're getting, you always want to give back, alhamdulillah. But that is it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. See you guys in the next video.